Good morning. Good morning from Zalisi, Ukraine. My name is Chip Taylor, and I have a small organic farm, and we grow tomatoes, peppers, stuff like that for Mexican food. And right now I am converting over a small plot of land that's about 15, 16,000 square feet from conventional farming to organic. And what I'm doing is laying out the land this morning for 30 inch beds. Now I've taken this plot of land, it's 50 feet by 318 feet. And we are dividing it out into 50 foot square blocks. And then we'll come back through and build the beds up a little bit later, not much. I'm still um, cover cropping some barley on this land in order to build up the um, nutrition and ability to hold the water, water retention, that kind of stuff. Plus the roots from the barley will allow the um, soil to gain a little bit of organic matter. We probably won't harvest barley. We will harvest it for hay and um, use it as cover cut the barley, let it lay, and um, again, it'll build up like a natural mulch and a green um, manure. And so this morning, I thought I would show you what we're doing. Um, There's a slight slope um, that's east to west. And so that's the 50 foot wide. And so the slope goes down the 300 feet. And so what we're gonna do is lay these beds out um, going east to west and that'll allow the water to drain out a little bit better. These beds are 30 inch by 25 inch or 30 inch by 25 feet and what that allows us to do is to use a bed as a unit of measurement that I know that I can get X amount of produce off of this bed. I need X amount of seed and everything is standardized. The same way we do it at the homestead where we've got the greenhouses and raised beds, stuff like that. Everything is 30 inch by 25 feet. Um, all the water lines are set up that way, the um, row covers, that kind of stuff. So we're doing the same thing up here and um, it'll allow us just to be more standardized as far as how much labor's involved in a bed or a crop how much seeds involved, how much um, compost is involved, that kind of stuff. It gives us this um, ability to standardize everything that we do. From the homestead, the number of beds there, the beds here, and then we've got another plot that's about a mile to our west, and it's the same size. It's laid out a little bit different, but the same size. And so all of these beds will be standard so that everything is um, predictable and measurable. We can tell whether or not we need to add um, supplements to soil depending upon the harvest. I know that I can get one kilo of lettuce per um, meter, maybe two meters, in um, the greenhouses when they're pumping out. Um, same way with the spinach. So I can measure this stuff and say, all right, this customer needs X amount of lettuce or X amount of spinach. I need to cut this amount of row or plant this amount of bed in order to um, be able to deliver what's ordered and in order to be able to predict what our output will be. And again, we can use this to measure um, productivity and if we need to make any kind of changes with soil amendment. Um, I don't think these um, plots have ever been laid out like this. And again, I, I mentioned our first day that this will get some attention. And um, I don't know that, I can't imagine anybody's going to be doing the same thing because there is a lot of labor involved with this. It is much more labor intensive to lay out 50 or 75, 25 foot plots instead of just taking a half an acre of land 
and planting it all in the same thing. That's a simple way to do it. And with tractors, um, it's a whole lot more um, labor and, um, efficient. But what we're trying to do is increase the value of the land, how much um, money we can actually generate off of a small piece of land. And the only way to really do that is to be a little bit more labor intensive, but a little bit more efficient with um, production. I can come through here and plant one of these 25 foot beds and I can get easily two crops, but sometimes even as many as four crops by planting things that don't take a long time to grow. Um, arugula, spinach, that kind of stuff. Um, things that I can come through, harvest it, plant it again in another crop, harvest that, plant it again in another crop, as opposed to one big field. Also with the 30 inch wide beds, it allows me, I can straddle that. I can um, walk down the row, straddle it, pull weeds, harvest crop, stuff like that. Instead of having a row every 18 inches, I can plant six rows of spinach, five inches apart in these um, 30 inch beds. So it allows me to get a little bit more um, crop in per um, bed. And then, you know, the same way with carrots, same way with everything. Um, our tomatoes will put two rows of tomatoes, two rows of peppers per 30 inch bed. Um, potatoes, we're probably going to do maybe three, between two and three. We're going to measure that, see how it does. And um, anyway, I just wanted to give you an update this morning. Um, we're having a blessed day here in southwest Ukraine, and I hope you have a blessed day also.